they murdered. You knew him? He was a friend of mine. Sorry for your loss. I could say it comes with a job, but it doesn't get any easier. No, it doesn't. Guess you've been down here a while? I've been living as Karen Bowman, international aid worker, for just about five years. Means living rough, but as a cover, it gets me out and about. At least it comes with a chopper. How'd you get in country? I flew in business class from Manaus. Hey, I'm refreshed and ready for work, right? I just hitched rides from Barranco, Peru. How about you? I got on board a bus in Hui, Argentina, and drank all the way to Via Zone. Nobody wants to deal with a drunk on the bus. That explains why you smell like ass. I've heard rumors about you guys. I was a rookie field officer in Moscow when the coup went down. There was talk you were involved? Nah, it must have been someone else. We were never there. It's not every day you get to meet an urban legend in the flesh. You should tell that to my kid. Maybe he'd listen when I tell him to take the trash out. Is it hard being someone who doesn't officially exist? You tell me, Karen Bowman, international aid worker. I'm sure you've seen the horrible, fucked up shit humans are capable of when there are zero repercussions. But let me tell you right now, no matter how you compartmentalize how you Desensitize, you can't prepare for El Sueño. He's got a religious street that rates pretty close to delusional. He's taken vows of poverty, chastity. If he's not in it for the chocha or the money, he's in it for the power. This joint task force is CIA, DEA, JSOC. I'm your resident spook for this ride. Welcome to Operation Kingslayer. Our briefing said there'd be a contention of locals. The guitar is 26. They're a group of rebels who've been giving Unidad and Santa Blanca some resistance. We'll meet their leader, Pacatari, as soon as we touch down. Bolivians have a long history of hating us Yankees, but this time, let's hope the enemy of my enemy will be my friend. But don't turn your back on him. I'm not going to. Soldiers. This is the help you promised? That Sandoval promised? A single Yankee died, so you send a handful of soldiers. Hundreds of Bolivians have died from Santa Blanca's bullets. Where will my hundreds of soldiers come from? As Americans, we aren't here, remember? These soldiers are the best covert ops team our country has to offer. With their help, you won't need hundreds of soldiers. Are you familiar with the word Huber, Senora Bowman? Meet Pakatari, leader of the resistance group Kataris 26. We will be working with the rebels to destabilize Santa Blanca's organization. They've been fighting Santa Blanca and corrupt Bolivian officials for nearly six years now. We'll need to coordinate targets. There's no time for this. We have information on Amaru's whereabouts. Amaru? You found him? Amaru is one of the founders of the Kataris 26. More than that, her group? is founded on his ideas. Without his theories of an agrarian proletariat, there would be no organized resistance against Santa Blanca and the corruption in our government. Amaru must be saved. If you were to assist my people, it would do much to earn my confidence. Where is he? We do not know exactly. We know he's in this province and that there is a Santa Blanca lieutenant who knows where he is. 
I'll put a call into the activity, see if they can dig more intel out of the airwaves. Start looking for that lieutenant and keep me informed of everything via sat phone. Good hunting. Saving Amaru is important to our cause, Yankee. Make sure you don't kill the Santa Blanca lieutenant before you get the chance to ask him questions. Time to earn your pay, people. Put on your game faces. I tell you, I'm not too comfortable working with Pakatari and these rebels. Their kind of ideology always ends up with more bodies in the ground. What's your feeling on this op, Nomad? End of the day, this is a revenge mission. We need to focus and get this done quick before we get stuck between local politics and the firestorm of cartel bullets. First objective, track down that Talk to Blanca Lieutenant so we can find Amaru. Whoa. Switch to suppressors. Ready? Got eyes on the target. Let's move. in the 
upstairs offices or at the key pad. Silencio, marche. Pinche cabrón. Here's the deal, asshole. You answer my questions, or I put a bullet in your gut and leave you to die in your own shit. Lo entiendes? Chill the fuck out, cabrón. What do you want? Amaru, where can I find him? <laughs> you serious? That's what this is about? Sure thing. He's at Atoya Farm. Go on. Then you can see what we do to people who fuck with us. People like you. Está bien, ganaron. We need to get this done in a hurry. Amaru's an old name. He's not gonna last long under torture. Shit, if they've been working on him for a while, there's a good chance he's already dead. Maybe, maybe not. Amaru's a major player in the rebel movement. The cartel will keep him... as long as I can to find out what he knows. We can't afford to take any chances. There's too much riding on this. Let's move. Let's go. Coming up on a Toyo farm. Remember, a lot of these Sicarios are ex-military. ID your targets. If Amaru gets killed by a stray round, Operation Kingslayer will be dead in the water. Hold on. Shit, we're spotted us. But in some cartel control districts, sexually transmitted diseases up 85%. A lot of you pendejos out there are feeling the burden of this, ain't you? And I know you assholes are dipping your wicks in the same pot. Think about that. that Check it out, weapons case. <laughs> We're clear. ¿Qué pensará mi familia? ¿Se acordará de mí? ¿Creerán que he muerto? Haría lo que fuera por hablar con ellos. Are you Amaru? What's left of him anyway? Come on, we're getting you out of here. Back to your friends. Entonces Pacatari has made his deal with the malditos extranjeros, the young fool. Take it up with him, senor. Do not support... I'll fly. Hey.
supplies and a weapons case. Are you hurt? Santa Blanca is not the most gracious of hosts. These Aucas, these demons, they had questioning me. Let us say their talk of love was enough to make me vomit. But their methods were not... Were not... Were their names Yuri and Polito? Si! Yuri and Polito. These are the fucks that tortured Ricky Sandoval while Suenyo questioned him. I want them bad. We only saw run-of-the-mill Sicarios when we freed Amaru. But I haven't seen Yuri and Polito in at least three days, maybe four. I don't know where they are now. We need more intel. We'll search every village and camp until we find something. Somebody's gotta know something. Gather documents, hack computers, interrogate hostile lieutenants, talk to civvies, whatever it takes. We'll turn over every rock. Heads up. Bowman's file on Yuri and Polito is coming through. That's the right. Undone on La Yuri and El Polito. They're a key part of Santa Blanca's security operation. Remember to check out Bowman's briefing on the chain of command. Guy in charge of security is El Muro, the wall. Personal bodyguard and childhood friend to El Sueño. El Muro's little brother is La Plaga. Nasty piece of shit. Very active on social media. Head Sicario for the cartel. The hunt starts now. We want Sueño, we gotta work our way up the hierarchy. First targets are Yuri and Pulido. We find the intel, we track them down, we take them out. Okay, Sancho. Sancho, listening to me? Maybe the problem isn't the balloons. Maybe the problem is that you're giving them to her for every goddamn holiday. No jingles. Ready? Open fire. Roger. Going on. Cartel assholes. What the fuck is wrong with these people? They've seen us. There's one less bad guy. Nomad, I've got Pakatari on the line. Sounds like he needs our help. Put him through. Hola, compadre. I have a problem in Itaqua. Bowman says you may be able to help. My people need help. There have been many losses to the cartel and the horrors inflicted by Yuri Polito have broken their spirit. The fires of revolution have almost gone out. Spare me the rhetoric, Atari. Just tell me what you need. There is a cartel supply convoy passing through the province soon. Capturing it would give my people much needed supplies and restore their morale. Can you do this? Consider it done. Taking orders from Pat Katari now? Katari needs this convoy. We are gonna give it to him. The more he depends on us to get shit done, the more we can get out of him in return. SB Cats. Porque tú mereces ser parte de los mejores. Inscríbete hoy. ¿Qué estás esperando? Hang on, I'll drive. As much as the rest of you. I have my right, entire life 
I have taught this respect for Pachamama to my children, and I will teach it to their children. Pachamama must keep a balance and harmony with the cosmos. And that is why I am happy that our country is working with Santa Blanca. Oh. This is not the same secular industrialization that the gringos and their CIA have tried to force upon us. This Mexican organization, this Latin organization, believes, as I do, that human beings are caretakers of our Earth, guardians of the land. And they believe that with proper management, we can find a way to Fire. benefit both man and the Fire. tierra. Santa Blanca is Bolivia's partner in caring for our Earth. This is for the future of Bolivian companions. This is the legacy that we leave the generations to come. Peace. And win for his gold watch.
I'm riding the motorcycle. shut down these cartel antennas, it'll fuck up their comm system. Fire. Roger that. Opening fire on these fuckers. Fucking hell! The lieutenant's on the run. Fire, fire, fire.
Ship balls. Out, heads up. Oh, shit, I'm hit. Thanks, man. Reinforcements are here. We got a 20 in the garage where Pleto parks his sports car. We snag that, we snag his GPS. Maybe something there tells us where he and his girlfriend are. Sicarios. We'll leave a marker so the rebels can pick up the supplies later.
rumbles coming through on that vehicle. on the ground in Okoro. What have you got for us? Okoro is the heart of cocaine production in Bolivia. The network there was built by El Yayo and predates Santa Blanca by more than a decade. When El Yayo joined the cartel and became the boss of production, he handed Okoro off to his grandson, who goes by the name El Emisario. Guy the guy the vehicle. He spends most of his time outside the province, rubbing shoulders with politicians in Sucre, Frag out. and raising the wheels for the cartel. Not really his job, but the guy's something of a charmer. And he figures this is the best way to make his grandfather proud. El Yayo lets it slide so long as Okoro continues to produce. Fact is, the network is so well established that it pretty much runs itself. El Emisario assistant handles the rest. Get in there, gather intel on Okoro's production sites, and start fucking things up. That'll put pressure on El Emisario to come back to Okoro and get things back on track before Granddad finds out. When that happens, we grab him and we...
Don't let me get shot next time. Break is all we need. drive. back. Sorry about the interruption. No worries. Let's make this quick. Get in there, gather intel on Okoro's production sites, and start fucking things up. That'll put pressure on El Emissario to come back to Okoro and get things back on track before Granddad finds out. When that happens, we grab him and use him to get to El Yeyo. Getting an upload from Bowman. Looks like he's got some intel on El Emissario. Got another one right there. Target side sighted. Good, it's now five. our play.
target is down. Familiarize yourselves with Bowman's briefing on Santa Blanca's coke production pipeline. People of Topper, El Yayo and La Gringa. Yayo's Bolivian, an ex cocalero turned cocaine producer. Gringa seems to be a disgraced chemist. She used to work for an NGO here in Bolivia before joining up with the cartel. 